Hello everybody, hope everybody's doing well. So I talked about this before, uh, in the past, and it's about AI. You know yourself, artificial intelligence. It's got so good, well, I suppose the word is so high tech, so above uh, human minds that it's gone above and beyond. Like, chat Ch BTT is, you know, it's something like, it's like talking to another human nearly. Uh, and it's, it's insane, let's put it that way, it's insane, 20 years ago, we never would have taught us something like that, even 10 years ago, it would never have been, we're, we're basically, we're so advanced in the last decade, it's unbelievable, it's simply unbelievable, uh, and it comes, there's always a risk, and there's always a, a, a benefit to everything, regardless of what you do in life, there's always a risk, and there's always a benefit, but in my opinion, I know this might seem like a normal thing, but the risk kind of outweighs the benefits, to be totally honest, because AI, when you, rely on so much like hospitals to take for example a lot of a lot like even a lot of medical stuff and all that uh, appointments and stuff like that documents and different things for medical our own computers are on ai rely on ai to the storage and stuff like that on computers not like the old way of writing the down of your appointments and this day it's on the computer it's all computerized basically uh, and if ai you know if, if artificial intelligence turned against us you know you know it could fuck up the whole the whole human system, like as I say, hospitals, the majority of the civil services and the majority of the public service too is basically digitalized. At this day, just call it that. Our local authorities, basically, if you make a complaint then or something like that, it's all put up on record on, on on the on the computer. Basically, there might be a physical copy of it, like a handwritten copy, but mo most of the time it's just written up on the computer. And I say, for example, half of the local authority staff now in Calvin Monaghan are working from home. So take for example, they would have to use the computer to contact whoever, Why right? Take for example, somebody rang in about a pothole, they have to use the computer to contact the superiors to tell me there's a pothole in this world and stuff like that, and this, that, and all of that gets stored, obviously. So you think about if AI told to get to survive, if something happened, God forbid, uh, to AI and stuff like that, it would basically jeopardize the whole system, if you get what I'm saying. And obviously there is benefits, obviously. It can teach people different things. It can learn people a lot faster and things. They can help a lot. It can help people. Let's put it that way. Uh, it can benefit to your students and teachers and stuff like that. But as I said, there's always the risk is here or the benefit is there. You have to try and balance it out. And it's all about a balancing game. But at the moment, what I, the way I see it, we're vets in the humanity and technology and stuff. It's a vets in so quick nowadays that it cannot balance it out it cannot balance out between the good and the bad if that makes any sense we're all just accelerating to for the catch up to goods let's put it that way um you know it, it's crazy it's this way and then you see the deep fake technology and stuff like that where people could like even an only person or only joe take for example uh elon musk or something like that somebody can make a clip of him i don't know saying some terrible stuff all right uh and it's not true it's simply not true and again because again it's deep fake the, the technology is so good it's like it's actually the person and it's actually the person's voice and stuff like that like you could not tell the difference to be told and only joe couldn't tell the difference you have to analyze and stuff like that uh, and in a few in about 10 years i speak now probably about 10 years time it, it simply cannot tell what's true to a fact uh and that's the thing and it's frightening it's frightening but again as i say it's good in some ways, obviously, technology and stuff like that. And obviously the way to communicate with different people across the world and stuff like that. It's very, very good YouTube, exactly, too. But uh, when we rely on robots, too, as you can see, the, the robot dogs and humans and things like that, uh, they can talk and do different things. It's 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 beyond insane. We, we're living in the Matrix, really. I know people say we have to modernise it to keep it fat so we can't go back to the stone age or whatever um you know, too much of fatsman can be a bad thing let's put that way uh, and we do have to think about it because if we if the, the most powerful thing in the universe and we have to understand is the human brain the human brain regardless like take for example somebody's iq might be low right and somebody's iq might be high but in general the human brain is the most powerful uh, device in the universe let's be fair because you can take, you can do everything with your brain. Your brain sends out signals for you to move your hands. This week now, my brain sending out signals to move my hands and stuff like that. The brain is just a set of operation. And they can take and uh, talk and they can do different multitask, you know, 
compared to other animals and stuff like that. That's what makes humans so fat. Uh, but when you let AI become nearly the brains of a human, you know, it can, it can, it can overtake the human mind, basically. Let's put that way. And it can overtake. No human could be as powerful nearly as an AI if it gets too fat. Uh, and obviously, AI could ruin society and really could ruin everything. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, maybe I'm just too old-fashioned, but uh, let me know what you think and bye.